Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. We're gearing up for reInvent and the AWS announcements are starting to flow in so fast we've had to mute our Slack channel subscribe to the RSS feed. This week we'll talk about a new service called AWS Data Exchange, we'll take a look at a really useful new CloudFormation feature, there's a 15 year anniversary for an AWS team you've most certainly benefited from, and we announce our Guru of the Week. I'm Nick Triantafilu and this is AWS This Week. With reInvent only two weeks away, AWS CEO Andy Jassy has tweeted that they've decided to start announcing some brand new services earlier, probably because they don't have enough time to announce them all at the conference, and they've already begun with AWS Data Exchange. AWS Data Exchange is an addition to the AWS Marketplace, where companies can license data products which are available for you to use, both free and paid. There's over a thousand products from 80 data providers already in categories such as financial services, healthcare and life sciences, weather and mapping. If you need access to this data, you can quickly find it and start using it. If you want to provide data of your own, you can easily package, license and deliver products on your own as well. I've taken a look at some of the providers on there and it's truly amazing what you can access. From all of the Home Depot locations in the United States supplied by Foursquare, to the weekly regional short range projections for year on year sales of fishing rods from Weather Trends International. Really cool stuff and I can't wait to see what products are created just because this data is now so easily available. Next up is a new feature for CloudFormation. Have you ever tried to create a CloudFormation stack only to realize you need to recreate some piece of infrastructure that you already have running just so it's included in your stack? Or maybe you have a database that's part of the application, but the effort of creating a new RDS instance with CloudFormation, then migrating your data over to it is too daunting? Well worry no more, you're now able to import existing resources into CloudFormation stacks. This is a huge improvement to CloudFormation that people have been asking for for a very long time, and AWS have listened and delivered. Now this week also marked the 15 year anniversary of the AWS blog. And a huge congratulations go out to Jeff Barr and the whole blogging team. I'm sure every single user of AWS has read your blog at one time or another throughout the years, and we thank you for all of the effort you've put in to communicate all things AWS to us. So thanks from the whole team here at Acloud Guru. Now onto our Guru of the Week. This week our winner is Michael Vassar, an analytics manager at Rock Technologies from South Carolina, USA. Congratulations, a t-shirt, sticker and hand side card are on their way to you, and you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent in 2020. If you'd like to win Guru of the Week, be sure to check out this week's Question of the Week on our forum link below. Okay, until next time, keep being awesome Cloud Gurus!